massive apology to the Camerons for my attire today. Just to clarify, I haven't run out of shirts. I've been caught on a work day and I'm not in the regular studio, but I've got a very special guest with us, a former SUFC player who has returned to the birthplace in a new role, one of the only roles of its kind in the country at the moment, the new director of juniors and women's rugby, Chris Deleuze. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Mate, absolute pleasure. The new role that that we have here is an exciting one. Um, Can you uh, give us some information about what's been happening in the first six months of the role? Um, If you had have asked me 12 months ago, um, or even before that, I suppose, coming back to Sydney University and coaching second grade last year with uh, Big Ray Ray, and obviously under the guidance of uh, RT and Joe, was an incredible year. So it was a real big eye-opener. Um, I was obviously coaching at um, Scott's and had a high performance role there, but I suppose that was jumping straight back into the working environment when I came back from overseas. But starting this role, mate, it's been a great eye opener in terms of full time rugby and what it takes to be a full time rugby coach, director, and uh, a lot of the work that goes in and behind the actual coaching side. You know, the admin, the, the admin that we love so much and the organisation of uh, 50, currently 52 women um, isn't always an easy thing to do, as well as uh, the four junior clubs and associates that we have under the umbrella of Sydney University Football Club. Just in your time since you've been here, in terms of their, their game develop, their skills, I know you've been um, you know, doing a lot of clips and running out there doing extra sessions. with. How have you seen the girls continue to grow? Oh, it's a great question. Um, when we first started, even within the first eight weeks up until the game against um, Central West, we saw major improvements. And that was really uh, what we set out to achieve from the very, very get-go. So with such an aspirational bunch, um, it makes my job very easy. Um, also, we set up a bit of an infrastructure around the girls at the moment. So we now have a backs coach, a forwards coach, um, who have done an amazing job, uh, Lulu as well in the S and C side of things. Certainly through these times, have really helped the girls stay connected, keep training, doing what they've been doing. But I suppose from the eight weeks before we played Central West without our representative, and to see such a good performance in that first game um, was definitely pleasing. Also, having eight new girls uh, represent Sydney University that day um, on the pitch where seven of those girls are under the age of 19. So, had a couple of school girls even play in that game. So, really starting, really pleasing to start seeing the uh, development start to shine through. And now that we've got the mix with the girls uh, coming back from representative uh, opportunities, so from the New South Wales and the Wallaroos, They're coming to join the ranks with the training now and training, to be honest, has been uh, really, really enjoyable with big numbers, 36, where we're pretty much at capacity in those groups of nine. Just on the development that you mentioned, we're lucky enough to have the top names in women's rugby in Australia. Of course, our members and sponsors will be familiar with them. But who are some of the younger girls coming through at the moment? You were talking about the eight new girls who played against Central West those ones and maybe some other ones as well. Who are the exciting young girls coming through that uh, you think have a big future in the game here at the club and hopefully for the state and maybe even the Wallaroos one day? Um, Some, that's a great question. And I don't want to, I want to make sure that I don't single out uh, just the one or two. Um, I think when you play for such an aspirational club, such as Sydney university and, Obviously, there's a lot of talent, like you just mentioned. Any, any one of these girls that kind of gets an opportunity in this first, first side um, is going to have a chance, I think, to go on for those representative honours because it is such a strong team. Such, just making sure now that when those girls start to develop into there that we're getting all of these young girls coming through and being able to be consistent first-grade starters. We've obviously had a few successful years in a row, uh, particularly the last two panning out this year once we eventually get on the field yeah it was a bit of pressure behind that one isn't there right so there's uh two premierships in the last two years and some great work has been done the girls know what they're up for um coming in you've always i suppose got to set the challenges around what they're looking to achieve as well so 
when you always set a challenge and if it's somewhat similar to what they've already done before, I suppose just getting a repeat or doing the grand final, I don't think was big enough for this group. I think they are a very powerful group, very strong group. Um, obviously, yes, part of what we're trying to achieve in the long term and over the next couple of years, a premiership this year would be fantastic. But we are now starting to look to develop. We're looking to develop individuals to try and make higher representative honours. We're looking at individuals trying to get themselves into that starting, starting team. And we're also looking just to see how far we can really take Sydney University rugby within the game of actual women's rugby itself. Firstly, in the women's game, but also uh, what's changed at Sydney University rugby since coming back early this year? Oh, look, what's changed in the women's game? It's a major change, to be perfectly honest. Like, um, and I'd even have to check the dates on this. So if I had to be perfectly honest with everybody, I, I, I couldn't remember even it existing back when uh, I was playing Colts or even if there was any marketing around it, we, uh, we, we certainly wouldn't have been supporting it like we do these days. Um, What's changed? Um, I wouldn't really be looking for what... I'm more proud of what hasn't changed um, since I left, which is coming back into that aspiration that I keep talking about and everyone really pushing each other and just wanting to compete that innate competitive nature that Sydney Uni always has to produce, you know, like players, also coaches now that we see with um, RT and obviously there's been other examples with Smooth and a lot of guys around my time, everyone kind of moving on. So it's really pleasing to see that whole work ethic hasn't changed at Sydney University and that whole idea that we just want to strive and it's just, it, it's just really pleasing to come back into. Mate, thanks for coming on today for half time. Very, very exciting space in the women's game and we thank you for all, the, all of your work so far. Thanks for having me, really appreciate it.